Hi everyone, welcome back to this series of project management key concepts from the project management body of knowledge. This one in particular is risk categories and identifying risks during your project. What are risk categories? Well, they're described in the risk management plan and they provide a means for grouping individual project risks for the project team to try and consider the full range of sources from which project risks might come about or may arise. So it's just a way of breaking down those risks or and starting from you know maybe a large source of risk, maybe there's a few different risks within that large source and we can in that way we're finding the categories of risk that we can actually uh, look to and maybe reuse over time in other projects as well. This also comes down to the organizational process assets, so the OPAs of, of the organization that you're working in. Perhaps they already have a list available. But risk categories might be used differently depending on the organizational process assets in a company. And uh, one of the ways is a risk breakdown structure in the same way that we were talking about, might have you know, a large source and maybe a few, we're sort of delving deeper into that source of risk and finding the categories that way. Now also a company might have just a, a simple list of categories based on project objectives that you can pick and choose from to give you or to prompt you um, so that you understand or you can see in advance you know, things that might come about. Now here's an example of a risk breakdown structure or an RBS. Uh, as you can see there's the, the high level here and then all of the, the, the smaller levels as we delve deeper into those risks. And that's just simple usually brainstorming, um, finding the, the large functions here and then you know getting together with uh, expert users in particular areas and seeing what they think. They'll usually have a good idea of the risks that might come about. Now there are other ways to, to find you know, common categories of risks and some of those are using frameworks, so strategic frameworks that are more suitable for identifying sources of overall project risk. Now some of those you might be familiar with, we've got PESTEL uh, which is political, economic, social, technological, environmental and legal. So that's a, just a framework that we can use to, or a lens that we can use to view the project risks through. So what might come about from political changes, what might come about from economic changes for example. Um, TCOP, so technical, environmental, commercial, operational and political, very similar to PESTEL. And VUCA, uh, you might have seen this one, I think used in the defense forces or in government quite often, um, where we're looking at volatility, uncertainty, complexity, so what are the areas of complexity that might, um, might throw us off course, and ambiguity, what are the ambi what, what's ambiguous about the project that we aren't quite sure about. And that's just another lens that we can view the project through to try and identify those sources of risk. And those are risk categories.